Chaadeye Hanai U Yi to gate Yao to Kayi Yakagach to Nik Shkathnik Hayat Ejias Aya My boy died about three years ago. He died of an overdose of cocaine. I had a pain in my heart that I, I don't know if I can explain it, a hurt, an ache, almost like a cramp. But there was also like an open wound, a cut, a stinging. And when I was laying down, there was no matter what position I turned, trying to ease the pain, it never, never went away. It was about a month before my brother passed away. My sister called me and told me she was really worried about my brother, and she gave me this number to call because she really thought that I should, that we should talk to him. I didn't even try and talk to him because it was frustrating. He was so different. I put this vest on, I had tucked it into a vest pocket and put the vest on after he had passed away. And I pulled out number. You know, I wrote, wrote down, you know, his name and call him. And, and I didn't, I didn't ever get to talk to my brother. And when he died, I found out that I couldn't do it, take care of him. That pain by myself, no matter what I did, no matter what I took, the pain was there. I tried everything myself until I got contact with other people. Then I really thought, how much we really need each other. So I thought of the totem pole. A friend of mine brought this up about a week after my boy died, but at that time I didn't feel like making a totem pole. It was about a year later, then I thought about it. This started out as a family thing, you know. I told my sisters that I'd make a memorial pole for my boy, and they said, yeah, that's fine. You know, and then when everybody found out what I was doing, everybody wanted to be involved. 